Premium Cactus people. Uh, later on this year we'll be producing a range of cacti that are grown specifically for tortoise food. Now I've been looking into this and uh, a couple of things I've found out from the tortoise forums is um, you don't want to give your, cac your tortoise too much cacti or succulent because they have um, a laxative effect on them and you don't want to give them plant material that's too old because it um, develops oxalates which is bad for them and would be bad for us as well uh, can give you kidney stones so what they need is new growth and uh, not not all the time so you wouldn't want to plant it in with your tortoise you want to keep it so uh, the tortoise can't have direct access to it and you just feed bits to it so that aside uh, they don't mind them with a few prickles in but they prefer them if they haven't now I'm thinking uh, a couple of plants and the first one is the Ostro Cylindra Puntia subulata which we're looking at here it's a very vigorous grower I've already had um, a cuttings, a cuttings off this um, big log that's in the ground and these have all grown up in the past year so quite easy to make uh, new plants and new growth from plus they have these um, succulent leaves on which the tortoise are quite fond of I've read um, now these don't actually have spines on they can see the spine there now the spines on the the older plants are pretty sharp but as the on the younger plants they're quite soft but this will actually come off quite easily and you can give the odd one or two of these to your tortoise to have a munch and you can see new growth comes from the stems that's the old stem quite happily there got some more over here uh, what I had found when I was looking around is um, this Monstro's version has been advertised as tortoise foods on the, a few different sites uh, I find that a bit strange because it's very slow growing and this plant uh, I've taken one lot of cuttings off it about three or four years ago and it's only just grown these um, new growth since then uh, so if you were trying to feed tortoise on, off it I think you'd uh, you'd struggle a bit there so uh, the, uh, this one though puts on about a foot a year and if we look over here Adam was asking about this plant earlier this is one that uh, was cut off um, I believe last season or maybe the season before looking at the growth on it down to about six inches and it's put on just about two foot of growth since then so if I was to chop this here it would produce multiple stems so you can see it would be quite a good one to produce new growth from and uh, the other one, we'll have a look at the other end is the Apuntia clonello which has got one or two spikes on it you can see uh, just there not huge ones not that nasty uh, but these pads that look like they should be full of glockids really aren't they're pretty much glockid free which would be excellent I can feel the odd spike in there but not uh, not the little glockids that we used to and this is quite a vigorous grower so if you were going to feed your tortoise the odd pad this would be ideal and I say none of the um, plants in the ground here have ever ha had any um, pesticide spray this is another subulata which you may have seen already it grows about a foot a year uh, so that would be ideal for tortoise if I take cuttings off these and make um, new plants and not use anything other than neem oil on them which neem oil is fine with tortoise uh, as long as it's washed off they don't like it's a very bitter taste so that would be fine Let's have a look at the smaller plants over here. These are Quimillo that uh, are a couple of years old, the cuttings. They don't grow that fast in the pots, they're much better in the ground or bigger pots. Uh, but you can see if you were going to feed a tortoise, plenty of small pads on this, and you, you don't want to feed them all the time. So This is a um, subulata cutting I did, I think, put this in about October last year. And we'll just pick him up by the stem you can see that's rooted in I'm not going to pull it out now but that's definitely got roots already so very easy to root and these are some of the leaves which it's starting to shed uh, because it's a 
time of year they start to drop their leaves so um I and mean, you could go on and on that um tortoises love to eat all sorts of different punches but uh, i'm just picking the ones that uh, i think will be easier to grow for people that are keeping tortoise and uh, more user friendly so if i put those two down on my website later as tortoise friendly plants We've now got the lowdown on the plants and you know which ones I'm all about and why I'm all about them. So uh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Mm -hmm.